Does your next experiment involve IGFBP7? This video is for scientists who want to run Western blot, IHC, flow or other immunoassays against IGFBP7. We will cover some basic facts, protein expression, and IGFBP7's expected behavior in Western blot. All information in this video is based on public information and no proprietary experimental evidence was used. Topic 1. Quick facts about IGFBP7. Insulin-like growth factor binding protein 7, or IGFBP7, is a protein belonging to the IGFBP superfamily, also termed GFBP-related proteins. IGFBPs bind IGFs with high affinity, regulate IGF availability in body fluids and tissues, and modulate IGF binding to its receptors. IGFBP7 stimulates prostacyclin production and cell adhesion in cells. The total chain length is 282 amino acids, out of which a signal peptide of 26 amino acids is cleaved to form the active protein that is 256 amino acids long. The active protein runs about 27 kilo daltons on western blot. Topic 2. Where is IGFBP7 expressed? High levels of IGFBP7 RNA have been found in the choroid plexus, thyroid gland, heart muscles, and adipose tissue with the highest levels detected in kidneys. They are also expressed at lower levels in the placenta, thymus, amygdala, and duodenum. You can find more information at proteinatlas.org including which cell lines express IGFBP7 and which ones don't. This information will come in handy when designing positive and negative controls for Western blot and immunohistochemistry. Topic 3. IGFBP7 in Western blotting. Antibody specificity can make or break an experiment. After looking through Western blot images from publications and antibody companies, we can see that one band for the mature IGFBP7 can be expected in a Western blot at around 26 kilo daltons. Check out the PMC link for more images, which is also provided in the description box. Topic 4. Some interesting facts about IGFBP7. IGFBP7 stimulates prostacyclin production and cell adhesion. Insulin-like growth factors, or IGFs, are molecules that promote cell growth and division as well as prevent cells from premature apoptosis. IGFBP7 binds IGF1 and IGF2 with relatively low affinity. Therefore, the IGFBP7 protein controls IGF's availability in body fluids and tissues, and regulate the attachment of IGFs to receptors. Moreover, IGFBP7 is active in the vascular endothelium and its interactions with IGFs and their receptors help stop the BRAF signaling pathway which is involved in directing cell growth. Thank you for watching, and check out the links and references in the description box below. Let us know in the comments which biomarker you would like us to discuss next. Subscribe to stay tuned for more biomarker videos.